Life goes by just like that. So it's January right now. Couple birthdays coming up. My brother T's turning 30 in a few days. The big three O. So I'm sitting down thinking, yeah, boom. Make sure I remember to hit him up on his birthday, innit? The man's turning 30. And I'm sitting back and I'm thinking to myself, the man that I grew up with on my estate, they're all like a year above me in school, technically. So I'm like, boom. The man are turning 30 soon as well. Furthermore, certain man are already 30 already, and there's a couple more birthdays coming up. Then I have to check myself. I'm using myself like, rah, I'm turning 30 in September this year, you know. Man's getting old. I know I don't look it right today, like, listen, it's like five in the morning, innit? so man's hair's looking rough. Plus, shout out my barber, John, he's in Jamaica, innit? So, man's not getting no haircut until February. So, just know, say that there's bare man in Tottenham looking mad right now. Man's turning 30 in September. I'm getting old, you know. The big 30's coming up. And I said earlier, life goes by just like that. I remember when I was a little you. Seemed like just the other day. One minute you're five years old in the playground without a care in the world. Next thing you know, it's a six weeks holiday. You're about to touch down in year seven, big school. Next thing you know, you finish big school and you're in a day college. Then you turn 18. Next thing you know, you're 21. You're in Ibiza with your brethren, celebrating your 21st birthday. Bam, you're 25. Big boy now. Car insurance premium gone down. Before you blink, you're 30 years old, you've got two youths. Now, I ain't 30 yet, and I ain't got two youths. Life just goes by too quick. It's mad. It's mad. You know how much people I chat to, like, they're like 40 or 50 or whatever, really. And they said to me, there was one guy in particular, one of my old bosses at work, Holmes Harringate. He said to me, my 20s were a blur. Do you know, do you know what that means? More than likely, he fucked around during his 20s. Now, obviously, just because you fucked around in your 20s, you could have even messed up your life in your 20s. You can still turn it around. But I know he probably has a lot of regrets. I know he was probably fucking about doing drugs and partying all the time. But a lot of people in their 40s and 50s will say to you, if you ask them, they'll tell you. My 20s were a blur. It just went by like that. And I know exactly what them man there are thinking. The other day, the other day, I was with two of my cousins... We was in Camden, celebrating my 21st. I remember that night as well. Imagine, me and two of my cousins went down to Camden uh, for my 21st. And imagine, we didn't even get into no clubs, you know. Imagine going out for your birthday and not even getting into a club. Madness. So, yeah, it, was just, it felt like the other day, man turned 21. And now, what, eight, nine months time, man's going to be 30 years old. But yeah, a lot of people them that I speak to, older people in their 40s, touching 50 or whatever, they will tell you, they've told me before, 20s was a blur. Don't even remember. But you have to check it. A lot of these people, their 20s went, their 30s went, bam, they're 40 years old. A lot of people ain't achieved a lot in that time as well. A lot of people have regrets. You know how much man... 40 years old they're working some idiot jobs because in their 20s they fucked about they weren't serious mad don't be one of them people who say when they're 40 50 years old when they say to some youngsters yeah my 20s was a blur you know don't be one of them man there who fucked about during their 20s and they didn't make nothing of their life you know what you do during your 20s sets you up for your 30s and your 40s and in your 50s. Fuck it, your 60s as well. 
I'm not saying that if you fucked about in your 20s and you're 30 years old right now, or you're 35, you can't turn it around. What I'm saying is to the young youths watching this right now, you 20s, mid 20s, don't waste no time. Furthermore, you know, even if you're 50 years old, don't waste no time. Don't waste no time. Take risks, legal risks as well. But you know, on these videos, you have to put the disclaimers out there and really define what you say word for word. Take risks, legal risks. If you're not content, I'm not saying, look, no one should be content with working a nine to five, but you know what, someone got to do it. I know it ain't going to be me for the rest of my life. But if you ain't content with working a nine to five, make steps to not have to work a nine to five. So like me, going the way that I'm going now, I reckon I would be able to retire by the age of 40. I reckon, say, I would have enough passive income coming in to be able to retire by the age of 40. But that's because man's making sacrifice and I don't know. We'll see in it. We don't know what the future's going to hold in it, but I reckon... Yeah, by the age of 40, man's, man's made an, man would have made enough sacrifice to be able to retire by the age of 40. But yeah, it's not a joke, man. You don't want to be like these men working these like idiot jobs because they're too lazy to make something on themselves during their 20s. So they're 35 and they're doing deliveries and working for Sky and that. And then they got two free use. Laziness. Gyal them as well. Gyal them are not exempt. I know it's a man them channel, like most of the man them watch this or whatever, but a couple of gals watching this right now. If there's something that you want to try out, do that. If you've had ambitions to set up a, a nail salon or whatever, it don't have to be no big enterprise or nothing like that, but if you always wanted to run your little nail salon or whatever, make steps to try and set up your own nail salon. Especially if it's something, if it's something that you're into, you enjoy doing nails or hair or whatever. Don't cost masses amount of money to set up a little nail or a hair salon. Try it out. You ain't got nothing to lose. You ain't got nothing to lose. You got a lot to gain. You got nothing to lose, man. But yeah, life goes by just like that. You know how many men are in jail? In and out of jail. 17, 20 years on and off. In and out of jail, you know. That is long blood. That's madness. Imagine, imagine spending 15 to 20 years of your life in and out of jail. That's a, that's a man that really don't learn his lesson. You know? Like me, a man's had a few slip ups since I've come out of jail and you get me. Don't watch. Don't want to talk too soon. But recently, man's had a couple of slip ups and that. And when man's had these slip ups, I've realized that like, man's got a lot to lose, you know. Like, man can sit down and say to myself, oh, I got this, I got that, or whatever. But until your freedom is jeopardized, then you realize, rah, man's got this to really lose, you know. I know it's easy to sit down and on paper, say, yeah, I've got this to lose in it. But once you're in a police cell, and you're like, right, man could actually even go away for like four, five, six months. Then you realise that, how much you got to lose. Now, man, I've got the thing pattern to so like, God forbid this happened, but man's got my thing pattern in a way where, boy, I could even go away for six months. Don't get twisted. Man's not anticipating going to jail or nothing like that. Let's just be clear right now. What I'm saying that man set myself up in a way that, boy, if I went to jail for six months, I'll be all right. A man's got money patterned there and understand. But still, anyway, still, man, I don't want to get me go down that route no more. No, but, um, but yeah, man, if you've got any little ambition, idea, try it out. You ain't got nothing to lose, man. You don't want to get to 40, 50 years old. Like, even like now, like with, with my YouTube thing. Started it, yeah, like three years ago. Jesus Christ. I wish I started it when I was 21. Because man had this mindset before. Obviously, 
man's obviously naturally gained more wisdom with the years and that. But man was on this level, this mindset, this wavelength, back when man was 21. Man was telling me when I was 21, 22, 23, I'm a fucking old head on young shoulders. Literally. Like, man used to say to me, like, you're born in the wrong century. Your philosophy and that like, the way you think is old school in a, in a, in a good way. Because you know how young people think now and they got a dumb mindset. A dumb mindset. But yeah, man, any any man, any girl watching this right now, you got any little idea, anything you want to pursue, pursue it. You're gonna you, you you're gonna regret it. The later you leave it, the more you're gonna regret it. So yeah, man, life is too short. Life, time don't wait for nobody. Utilize the gift of life. Like man said in videos before, you know, people who are in bad positions, they might be disabled or on life support, or they would love to be in our position with a healthy body, healthy brain, to be able to go out and do the things that normal people do. Trust me, you think your life is maybe a bit chaotic and that, and your life ain't in order, trust me. Yeah, you get up every morning with a roof over your head and clothes on your back and that, your, your life ain't that bad. There's people in far worse positions than you. You would love to be in your position, trust me. So, in some ways you're blessed, but at the same time, you still need to utilise what you've got. And we're in a country right now, if you're in the UK or America or somewhere in Europe, like Netherlands, or I've got people watching in different countries and that. You can make something of yourself. You're not in the plains of fucking Africa or in the middle of Baghdad where things is mad. you got opportunities around, you need to take them because there's so many people in places right now. That's why you got man, you got man hiding underneath. You must have seen them, them BBC news reports and that. Man are hiding underneath the lorries and that. Just to make it to this country from wherever they come from. You got man falling out of the fucking sky from an aeroplane and landing on the concrete patio and cracking it. Because a man has fell out of the fuck true stories. A man's fell out of the sky, you know. Man's fell out of an aeroplane and landed in someone's back garden on the patio and cracked the patio. Because a man is doing what he can to get out of his fucked up environment, wherever he's from, to come to somewhere to make something of himself. Trust me, you don't know how lucky we are to be living in England or America or somewhere in Europe. Where there's opportunities like Germany or Netherlands or whatever. You think because you live in some some ghetto estate or whatever, you, 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 you're doomed to your destiny. No. 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 You need to remove yourself from that environment. Step out of your fucking pose code for once. I was going to say there's a big wide world out there. There is obviously. But you know what? There's a big city that you live in. If you live in London. And you know what? If you live in some destitute, fucking barren wasteland. Somewhere that look like the fucking hills have eyes too. Like Northampton. Don't get me started on Northampton. Move to London. Save up your pennies and, uh, and move to somewhere where there's opportunity. You know? Before I go. Um... Obviously, man's got that North Northampton video, the infamous Northampton video. Go check out that video. Type in London and Northampton and my video will come up. You know, furthermore, I'm that confident. Just type in Northampton on YouTube and I should be the second uh, video that pops up, if not the first. Someone left a comment underneath one of my videos. It must have been the Northampton video, the London and Northampton video. And one guy said... In the comment section underneath that video are oh, um there's nothing for me in london there's no opportunity so i'm moving up to northampton to get a job and i'm not coming back to london and i'm reading it and i'm saying to someone is this guy a madman how can you say there's no opportunities in london so you're leaving london there's nothing in london for you this is what a man saying worth well you know there's nothing in london for you so you're going up to northampton now if you're in london and you can't find no opportunities, you're not looking hard enough. You're a joke, man. You're a joke, man. 
you can't find an opportunity in London. You're not looking hard enough. I don't know what the fuck's wrong, wrong with this person. That I had a fucking cousin. Uh, this girl wanted to move to America to just, whatever, start out fresh. No plan, you know. She had like a leaving party or whatever. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, what, why the fuck are we even here at this leaving party? Like, what, 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 what is the purpose of this girl going to America? She ain't going there with no plan, you know. Do you know what people do? When people ain't got nothing going on in their life, they ain't got no ambition, they work in a shit job, or they're lonely because they're single. You know what they want to do? They think by changing their environment and go running off to another country, everything's going to just uh, work itself out. No, it's not just going to work itself out. Don't just move to another country with no plans, you know. The girl said word for word, I'm just going to wing it. You know what happened? A year later, she was back in the UK. Not achieved that damn thing. You know what? If someone wanted to go, is it the Himalayas? That's in India or whatever, to go backpack, mountain, hiking, whatever you want to call it. Do that. That's cool. For a year. But don't just go to another country and just think that things are just going to uh, find... Um, things are just going to pan itself out or things are going to... No, it's not just... No. Life don't just work itself out just like that. Foolishness. I knew it. I knew it. I didn't know she was going to come back that soon. But I was just like, yeah, this girl's wasting her fucking time. And what happened? A year later, bam, back in London. On more foolishness. Anyway, that's it for the video. Don't waste no more time. If you've got any little idea, ambition, try it out. You ain't got nothing to lose. Especially if it's something so simple as starting off a YouTube channel. There's certain man right now want to start a podcast and that. But do it, blood. It costs no money. You're watching me on your phone, right? Well, you got a camera, yeah? So turn on the camera, make the Ross Clark first video. Stay where it's done, though.